Frank has a super useful tool called the Spotted on Etsy and Monitor tool. Today I want to talk you through what it is, where to find it, how to set it up and some examples of how I use it because this is a super useful tool in helping your SEO in your shop by finding and monitoring important keywords. What is it? Spotted on Etsy is a tool that takes the keywords you tell it to and thousands of other keywords being monitored by other E-Rank members and once per day it takes a snapshot, it searches Etsy for those keywords in the search. And it lets you know if it finds any of your listings in the first two pages of the search results. A quick point to note here is E-Rank, when it's determining ranking, gets its data directly from the Etsy API. Etsy determines where items are ranking based on a number of factors that your SEO and your titles and tags and also things like your shop score. And Etsy ranks items according to this and this is what's sent to E-Rank in the API. And after that, when a person directly searches, Etsy looks at this rank that it's given the item, but also includes some other personalized features to the person searching. For example, where they live and what kind of things they've searched for in the past. So. What you see or what your friend sees when they search Etsy will not be exactly the same as what E-Rank tells you your item is ranking for. The E-Rank data is your rank before personalization. So think of it like an average position that an unlogged in searcher will see. And the monitor area and spotted on Etsy takes those daily results and plots them into a graph for the past 14 days. Where can you find this? You can see an overview of your daily Spotted on Etsy results from your dashboard. And clicking to see See All Spotted on Etsy takes you to the section to see all of your listings. You can also get here from Shop Spotted on Etsy. And in these first few pages, you see the search terms that you were found for, page position and rank, and the timestamp. That's the time they were last found under. Clicking on your keywords shows the results for the keywords that you have entered into the tool. Other keywords shows any other keywords from E-Rank users that your items are also showing up for. And Monitor shows this 14-day graph of the individual timestamps of all of the listings that are showing up. If you hover over any point on the graph, you'll see what listing is showing and at what rank for which keyword. Click the tick by the listing to remove that from the graph to make it easier to see certain trends. And if you find you have lots of listings ranking, use the filter box to type in the part of the title to see only listings with those terms. Also use the search terms to only show the graph for listings showing those keywords. The edit keywords is where you can add or remove keywords that you are monitoring. How many keywords you can have depends on the level of E-Rank subscription you've got. To set up Spotted on Etsy, all you have to do is enter your first keyword and this tells E-Rank that you're wanting to start. And from that point, once a day, E-Rank will do the search for you. The graphs only collect data from the point where you enter your first keyword. So initially the graphs will be sparse. If it's only been five days since you entered in your first keyword, you will only have five days worth of data on the graph, not all 14 yet. That's all good, but what can you actually use this for? What is the point of it? I have three main uses that I use this for. Firstly, to find potential new keywords, because as I said, E-Rank doesn't just search for the keywords that you've put in, but it has a database of thousands of other keywords from other E-Rank members. So when I look at other keywords, if I see some keywords that I'm say ranking on page two for, these are keywords that I hadn't thought of yet. So I can pop over to the Keyword Explorer, see if these keywords are perhaps worth chasing up and maybe I could focus my listing a little more on that keyword or I could even create a couple more listings based off of those keywords to see if I could rank on page one and see how that works out. And use number two is to keep an eye on my most important keywords. 
If you go into your shop stats and have a look at those keywords that are bringing the most people in from search, then these are your most important keywords. And if you pop them in so it's tracking every single day, then if you're noticing a trend downwards in the number of views you're getting on Etsy, you can pop over to E-Rank and have a look and see how your most important keywords are doing. If I check my graph and I see my keywords are flat, they're ranking where they've always ranked, then I want to check that maybe there's less people just searching overall for this term just now, maybe the term's going out of favour, or it might be that my listings just don't pop anymore with all the competition on that front page, so it could be time for a reshoot for a better photograph. But if I see that I'm dropping in the search, then this might be the time to push this item. Either I might want to make some similar items to this, focusing in on the same keyword, or take this item that's been doing well for this search term and take a while to feature it. Obviously trying a new photograph possibly, promoting it on social media, making it the featured item in your shop, and maybe even linking to it from the description of some other listings, just to give it a chance to get a few more eyeballs on it. Once it gets a few more sales, it might go up in the rankings again. And my final method, method three, is when I'm launching a new range or when I'm opening a new shop. I will have a few keywords that I'm trying to focus on for this range. I have an idea of the keywords that I want this 10 or so listings that I've created to hopefully be able to rank for. Now, what happens when you put up one new listing? It gets a little boost in search. It goes up a little higher than it normally would because it's a new listing, so Etsy's trying to learn about it. So you'll see a new listing might rank higher for a search term and then over the course of time it'll fall away slightly. So using the Spotted on Etsy, using the monitor graphs, I can see when this listing drops down in search and this could be a good time to add in my next listing so this next listing gets high up in the search. If I added them all in the one day, then only one would get on the front page really. But if I spread this out over many days, I can always have one on the front page. And also I can compare how did each do when I launched it? Did it, did it rank a little bit higher than the last, a little bit lower than the last one? Did it stay on page number one for that little bit longer and drop away over a longer period of time? Now, the amount of time it takes for a keyword to drop away in the search tends to depend on how searched for that keyword is. So less competitive keywords, you get a longer period of time with your item in the sun. But for all keywords, this is still kind of cool and it can really mean that you can be ranking a listing number one or page number one for a long period of time. And this means even for a small shop, for a fairly competitive search term, you can rank fairly well if you're strategic over a few days or a few weeks. And you can see how you do for that search term if you're shown on page one, or if it's maybe not a good match for your items. If you don't do well with it, then even that is data that you've learnt. I would like to remind you all that although I also work for E-Rank, the videos on my YouTube channel are my own advice and are in no way sponsored by E-Rank. Thank you all so much. I hope that helps.